Turn the volume down, stupid. Onion and turnabout. Let's go. Let's play the investigation. Yes. Let's investigate. That was no accident. What? Vroom! Go! Drive your car. I was drugged with sleeping pills. Don't drive your car. <laughs> I was murdered by that person. Bog! That's me playing Need for Speed. No! Don't burn the car! That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? In- in it? In it? What? Wait, is she in jail again? <gasps> no! Wait, is Maya in jail again? Ghost case? Did the- Maybe a ghost murdered someone. Finally get to see you again and it's not your fault. You didn't do it. Wait, I think a ghost killed someone. No, I I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It was a ghost. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. What? She killed someone a ghost. Hoi hoi, scimitar. Wait, I know who you are. I can't believe something like this happened. The events of that gloomy rainy afternoon that started this whole mess keep playing through my mind. Okay, Phoenix, I'll keep playing your mind. It's gonna be a hard case. Yeah, we're gonna have to persuade the judge that ghosts are real. Actually, no, he'll listen. He listens to everything. Maya got haunted. Sad. Bada bada bada. Does the right thing Ah, uh, what's the pussy grain? Do you understand how depressed that makes me? Do you? Turn the rain off this instant. I hate you. Uh, yes. But actually, more than depressed, I'm angry. <laughs> angry at that weather girl on TV. Wait, he's literally like, don't make the rain happen. I think our little rainy spell will take a break with a day of sun. Is what the girl said. I'd stake my life on it. What? Well, it's the weather. But that's why I didn't bother to bring an umbrella today. He's, he's terrible. What nerve, calling herself a weather girl. She's going to hear about my $1,500 suit. What? Whatever. This guy's the worst. Get out of here. That guy killed them. That is the murderer. Unless you're planning on suing the weather girl. I'm sorry. I thought that before we got down to business, we could have some friendly chatter. What? This is his idea of friendly chatter. My name is Dr. Turner Gray. I'm a surgeon. Remind me never to end up under his knife. <laughs> you get- you put blood on me! Die! <laughs> I'm here today because of this incident. Malpractice at Gray's Surgical Clinic. Fourteen inpatients lose their lives. And sh she was so sad. Oh, you're the doctor at. It's really quite upsetting. Did you hear me? Upsetting. He's upset. Okay. Okay, whatever. I agree. It's quite upsetting, Dr. Gray. The one that screwed up. The one that screwed up was that nurse. What? Everybody died. Why? What happened? Ketchup and the a IV drip. It was her that got the medications mixed. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and yet, now listen good. And yet, that nurse had the nerve to go and die before. What? <laughs> no. Uh oh, she's the ghost. She's just ghost nurse. 
He didn't even offer any sort of explanation to me, and, uh, and this is the kicker. What the heck? This guy's the worst! She up and has herself a grand old accident and crashes her car. Smash! Crunch! Instantly transforming... What? Instantly transforming her car into the accordion model. This guy has bad taste. This guy, this guy did it for sure. Even if he didn't do it, I'm gonna do it to him. The car exploded. That's right, about a year ago, the tabloid shows were talking about it. 14 victims of medical malpractice and the nurse's mysterious fatal accident. There were rumors that Dr. Gray had actually caused that crash. Yeah, he did it for sure. Because they always show the person who did it at the start. Which is actually pretty cool. How, like, in Phoenix Right, you don't even need to learn who did it. That's not the twist. The twist is how you find out how they did it or what they did about it. The message feed is right as if someone is annoying, they're probably literally a murderer. Well, I don't know. Freaking chicken sicken didn't, was not. The, remember the guy who was like, asterisk drools, asterisk. That guy wasn't the murderer, to everyone's horror. <laughs> Why would I? Now I'm just going to say this once. Why on earth would I want to kill that nurse? Because, uh, because you're the worst guy. She's the one who killed those 14 patients, not me. I think you need to take a big breath, doctor, and focus. My guy is so... So sussy. Hang on, uh-oh. Is this guy's not gonna be our client, is he? Is it... I hope this guy's not our client, because... He's supp Isn't it always supposed to be the Phoenix's client is, like, right? We're gonna have to Uno reverse on this boy and just put him in jail. More to the point, well, more to the point, this case is over a year old. Why bring it up now? Because of statute of limitations, I guess. Because the situation is slipping out of my grasp. This just won't do. My clinic isn't seeing nearly as many patients nowadays. Everyone's like, hey, that's that clinic where they put ketchup on the IV drips and then the nurse explodes. <laughs> Do you understand what this means? It means they're not coming to my clinic. Whatever. You don't say. If it were me, I don't think I'd want to go either. He's a stinky puss. So what are these thumbies to do about it? <laughs> don't like it! I want you to- Oh god. No. No. <laughs> He's not innocent. You do realize I'm a lawyer, not a private investigator, right? Also, you didn't realize I'm a defense lawyer. Everybody who didn't do the crime is who comes to me. <laughs> Step one to proving you're innocent. Don't make that face anymore. No, this is something only you can do. Nani? <laughs> Don't make that face looking at Maya. She's 17 and also just... Just... Just don't! Ugh. Maya, why would he know her name? I heard you were working under her for a little while. What? <laughs> well, yes, I mean, hey, wait a second here. I worked under her? Ooh, woo? Yes, am I wrong? She told me so. I'm not quite sure if. Well, we worked a few trials together, but she went back to her hometown to undergo more training. Oh, this is prequel, I think. I think this is before... I think this is before she came home. <laughs> ah, yes, I heard. It must be lonely for you. What? Okay. <sighs> oh. <sighs> no. <laughs> I have an acquaintance who knows a lot about these mystical sorts of things. Oh, right, so he wants Ghost Professor. She's the one who introduced me to Mrs. Fay. Is Maya really that famous? And I've already set up an appointment. Nani! <laughs> Don't like it! What else? A channeling? Yeah, it's gonna go ghost trip. Stop! Horrible. I'm gonna have her call the spirit of that nurse that went and got herself killed. Oh. Maya, I wonder what she's up to right now.
way of the woman of the Fae Clan have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to communicate with the spirit flows strongly through us. That's what she told me. I guess she's learned to accept- Look at the doggy! I guess she's learned to accept her responsibilities and become an adult. Okay, Phoenix, shut up. She's 17! Let her vibe! Whatever! Not counting trading. This will be her first time tunneling a spirit. So she gave me one condition before accepting my request. A condition? A condition? <laughs> the con- Hmm. The condition is you, Mr. Wright. She said that she wouldn't do the tunneling without first seeing you again. Cute. And, uh, and this is why I've searched you out. Yeah, no, this is scary. This is scary. <laughs> Don't like it. Don't like this. Don't like this. Um, uh, and so that is how I ended up visiting Maya's hometown with the doctor. Ba 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 ba. June 19, 125, Korain Village. Korain. So this Korain Village, look at the rock with the beautiful necklace. Everybody loves this rock. That's a special rock that has powers. Whoa! Cute baby. Why, hello there. Oh, bye. <laughs> what an odd little girl. Rude! Hey, wait up, Pearly. Huh? Someone else is coming this way. Meh! Yay! Cute doggy dog! Maya, how are you? It's good to see you again. Wow! I didn't think you'd really show up. Na 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 just tiny, tiny psychic. It's not that big a deal. You make it sound like you were so far away. Well, maybe I exaggerated. Just a little. It was only two hours by train. If I had known you were this close, I'd have visited more. No, you're not allowed. I already decided, you know. So I become an adult, I have to work hard and be strong by myself. Oh well. She communicates with the smallest ghosts. Oh no. Anyway, congratulations. I'm glad to hear training is going well for you. Hehehe. <laughs> What's that rock? A giant rock that seems to be reaching for the sky. It points its finger up at the sky. Go away, you sky. I hate you. <laughs> it looks like this giant rock is called Karain Boulder. There's a really complex explanation written here, but long story short, it's a big stone for spirits to live in. Cool! That's their house. Old bus stop. It says Karain Village on signpost. Buses here seem incredibly inconvenient when they only come three times a day. It's an old cell phone booth. Can't say it fits in with this area too well. Whatever. My cell phone doesn't get reception up here, so who knows? I may need it later. In case someone gets murdered by Dr. Gray. Rustic thatched roofed houses where the other villagers live in the street. They're nowhere near as large or as nice as the matter in front of me. It's kind of odd that I don't see any other villagers walking around, though. Biggest, most elegant of buildings I can see from here. This is Fay Manor, this place Maya calls home. Wow, she mansion! It's easy to be overwhelmed by its presence. Today, channeling. Looks like you finally become full fledged medium taking on your first job. Yeah, I don't think it would be this soon. But this case, do you know the messy story behind it? Ha ha ha! Oh ho ho ho! Oof 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 oof! Behold the power of the Maya Intelligence Network! Let's see. 14 people died because of malpractice on Dr. Gray's part, right? And to pin the blame on the nurse, he killed her in what appeared to be car accident. Huh? Um, so what's this Maya Intelligence Network anyway? The tabloids. <laughs> awesome. That's what I thought. I'm just pulling your leg, Nick. What really happened is the exact opposite. I heard all about it from Dr. Greg. Oh. Nani? Oh, come on, Nick. I wouldn't take a crazed Cliller as a client. Wow. 
Well, that's too scary, even for me. Maya, please. Yeah, I guess so. That guy, this crazy man, he's so evil. Karain Village. So this is your hometown, huh, Maya? Yes. Karain Village, but I've heard people call this place Medium Valley, too. Interessant. So everybody who lives here is spirit medium. Pretty much. <laughs> Most psychic place in California. <laughs> Most of my ancestors were too, I think. That's probably true, since the family really to communicate with the dead is so strong. Actually, only the women of this village are mediums. So what do the men do? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to ask you about the girl I saw earlier. Do you know her? Oh, you mean Pearly. Pearly! Pearl Faye, she's my cousin. She's so small. And she adorable. She's just like yours truly. Yes, agree. Cousin. Wait, then that means is she also a Yep, she's a medium too. Psychic baby. <laughs> she's a real genius when it comes to channeling. Wow, cool. Hope I didn't scare her when I tried to talk to her earlier. Nah, it's not you. My aunt drilled into her head that if a suspicious looking person tries to talk to you, run away. That's true, good advice, everybody. Suspicious straight person talk to you, run away. Get out of there. Suspicious looking. Well, you're not wearing training clothes for starters. Of course not. Carolee, she's my aunt's most valued treasure, so she's not allowed to go outside of town. She don't know much about world outside of Korean village. Aunt? Carolee's mother is my aunt. Duh. Come on, Nick. Well, Nick, I got the grades going. About time for channeling to start. Ha! Okay, yo. I'm doing the channeling in my house, so come on in, yo. After I'm done, we can grill up some juicy burgers. Someone look up. Someone look up the actual Japanese of this line. Okay, good luck, Maya. Thank you. Boy, boy. Well, at least she's still the same perky ma- Perky? Hmm. Hmm. Perky Maya, mm-hmm. Wonderful place. <laughs> Are we trying to pretend this is Japan? I mean, uh, California? Bay Manor Meditation Room. What's this guy's uh, Ah, Mr. Wright. I'm so glad you showed. Some nice weather we're having today. Aren't you happy? No, I hate you. That, uh, uh, that stupid weather girl made the wrong call again. Uh, it will rain cats and dogs today, she said with a straight face. I can't believe they allow such misguided reports on the public airways. Looks like talking looks like talking about the weather with this guy is just asking for punishment. But anyway, this is a splendid manner. No argument there. It's hard to believe this is Maya's house though. What are you talking about? She's... What are you talking about? I was given a guide map for this building. Here, Mr. Wright, I have a copy for you, too. Ba -ba -bum. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. That's ominous. What's your problem? What's your problem? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to have her write a signed confession. I don't think she will. I don't think this is gonna work. A signed confession. Yes, a confession. Pay attention, I'll have her write this. One year ago, on May 2nd, 14 patients died due to my negligence. <laughs> this is so stupid. And then on May 24th, I fell asleep at the wheel and died in a car accident due to my further negligence. I'm sorry and I apologize for being negligent. What? This guy... That's what I'll have her write. Uh, scary! With a confession, the rain falling on my soul could finally stop. Okay. Maya. So how did you hear about Maya Faye? I heard about her from an acquaintance. A girl studying the occult at the college. That girl introduced that girl introduced me to the village. This is the home of the Korean School of Channeling. The home, huh? Uh, and that, and Ms. Maya is a daughter of the master, I hear. Master. Eh, hey, scary! Don't go and put their face away! Anyway, do you see that door? That's the room where people and spirits meet. Ms. Maya's aunt is there right now. Would you care to meet her? Okay. 
What's the ticket mean? I can't know. What's that mean? Piece of cloth with a ton of finely written characters jammed onto it. Probably esoteric knowledge only mediums would know. Hmm, let's see. Here's one in it. <laughs> Being a medium sounds like a rough way of life. Uh, maybe that's why Maya is always trying to steal. Someone with a lot of skill wrote these four Chinese characters with a brush. <laughs> that is how that works. Once in a lifetime. Messages probably could be. It's, it's messages people should value their ghostly meetings with once in a lifetime chances. Are you sure, Venus? Or you're just completely stupid. Door! The door that leads to the tunneling chamber, a place where spirits and people meet. The iron in this doorway is tempered, making it very solid. It looks like there's a strong lock on this door to top it off. Indestructible door. That's a door, too. This door leads out to Winding Way. The weather outside looks really windy. <laughs> English smile. June 19, Fay Manor, channeling chamber. Those candles are going crazy. Wonderful music. Wow, it's such a strange atmosphere in here. This flickering light. Candle, 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 candle. Whoa! Good, good sir. Who might you be? Ah, I'm a ma 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 is that so? Mystic Maya. I am Mystic Maya's aunt, Morgan Fay. Nice to meet you. Hajimimashite. Ah, I had wanted to speak with you about a certain incident, good sir. It would seem that perhaps you ask too much of Mystic Maya in performing your duties. Most unbecoming, I'm afraid. Huh? Don't tell me you have already forgotten. That was if not for Mystic Maya and her assistance, you would surely not have you surely not have won. First a girl that runs away, now an old lady who says I stink at doing my job. Uh, Mr. Phoenix, uh, good sir, you suck at your job. You suck at your job, you're so owned, little corn cob. When did I become the poster boy for how not to make a first impression? <laughs> the past is the past, though. Let us speak of the present now. Ah, thank you. Maya! So why did you add Mystic to my... Isn't it a little strange? Yay! Get his ass! Die! <laughs> Good sir. Yes. How dare you be so rude and disrespectful towards Mystic Maya. Get his ass! I'm sorry. She must be addressed by her proper title, good sir. You must call her Mystic Maya. Um, uh, so about Mystic Maya, uh, um, um, uh, it is the blood. Oh my. Oh yes, pale blood. Nani, blood? Mystic Maya carries the blood of the master. In actuality, she is the only one remaining. Only one remaining? Nani! Mystic Maya is the last of the rightful heirs of the Korean channeling technique. Okay, then what you doing? That is a little more complicated. <laughs> Although a woman of the Fae Clan, I am merely a member of the Branch family. Brank! It is as it sounds. For a member of the Branch family, no matter how spiritual power, she can never become the master of the Korean school. So, how strong are you? <coughs> Strong enough to snap you like a twig. No, it is a shame. However, I will admit, I cannot even begin to compare the lowliness of my power to the master's. And yet still, I can snap your brain like a twig. 1d4 psychic damage is all it takes, Mr. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> so that's how it is. So today's channeling will be her first. Yes, good sir. Because the spirit of a person who dies in a traffic accident is usually very strong. What? Why? It is usually easier to call that person to our world. Traffic accident, indeed. The channeling will take place here, in this channeling chamber, good sir. 
As you can see, I am in the position is process of prepare say. So this room is channeling chamber. The place where a spirit medium speaks with those who she's sipping. She takes such sip. She says slurp slurp slurp. <laughs> <laughs> the place where is <coughs> I speak to my blah. The place where a spirit medium speaks with those who have departed. I don't suppose you mind if we observe the session. <coughs> Do not even think of such nonsense. Only the medium and the client may enter here. Okay. The secrets of the Korean techniques cannot be seen by just anybody. That never stopped Maya from doing it in front of me before. It's cause their breasts go so big. <laughs> Nobody's allowed to look. It's how's a cushy. It is also for your safety concern. <laughs> if something were to go wrong, you you might you might have a collision issue and get blasted into the opposite wall and get stuck in the door frame. That is why while channeling is being performed, that heavy door is securely locked. To withstand you getting Gmon blasted across the room. <laughs> oh, that's what the lock is for. Oh, yes. I wonder if you have yet to meet Pearl, good sir. Pearl? She is an adorable, angelic young girl. And if you touch her, I will kill you. Oh, that odd. She is my daughter. You, you, you <laughs> imbecile. Now then, what was it you were about to say? What a cute daughter you have! Ah ha ha ha! Phoenix really hates her for being running away. She's like, it's like, what a weirdo. I also do a sip. There's something going to go wrong. You might become a fitting as physics object, good sir. A pure heart that knows not of the evils in this world is a powerful thing, good sir. Please refrain from affiliating with her, I request. <laughs> Excuse me, good evils of this world, sir. Please do not, please do not affiliate with my daughter. She doesn't- <laughs> Well, it's not like I had the chance to anyway. I must insist and stress that you do not let it occur. Okay, okay, I get it. Okay, matane. Present for you. What about that? <laughs> good sir. <laughs> we would like to begin the channeling at three o'clock. If you don't mind, good sir, would you mind allowing me to make the preparation? Ah, uh, okay. She's a fail, all right? Just as odd as the rest. Phoenix Wright needs sensitivity training. Okay, get out of here. <laughs> Windy way. Wow, this garden is really breathtaking. <laughs> Someone put a lot of love into it. What's that over there? Is that an incinerator? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Looks a lot of place in a garden like this. The incinerator. Oh no. What's that? It's broken. <laughs> Look at it broken. It's a really old urn. The ashes of a person long dead are inside. How do you know that? Could just be sand or something. It looks like something with a long history. You don't know. You don't know anything, Phoenix. Anything. Un anything that you don't even know is weird. Other than that, it's not very interesting. So, okay. Incinerator potato. I don't think garbage trucks come in the way out here for tiny villages. So, every flammy has to burn their own trash. Okay. What's a lantern? A splendid garden with a small lamp and traditional decorations. It's a bit small to walk around in. Although the incinerator piques my curiosity. Yeah, well, you already piqued it, so stupid. That's a door. Peaceful feeling is emanating from it. What? <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go to Peace Room. Wonderful room. Beautiful pot of plant and funny, uh, a dog. A dog with a fish! Cute! So this is the side room. Looks like it's more of a break room. <coughs> There's bedding spread out on the floor. 
Looks like somebody's sleeping. I shouldn't disturb them. Somebody's sleeping. She's probably on exhausted medium taking a break and catching some zzzz. I'll wake her up. She might be grumpy and throw a spell on me! Yes! Hell yeah! Die! <laughs> That's a doggy dog. Oh, it's a bear. It looks like a dog. It's a decorative bear sculpture. There's a plate attached to its base. Karain Village, the heart of channeling. What the? That's a souvenir. So does this mean it's easy to spot bears here and for them to spot you? Asterisk, gulp, asterisk. There's a picture of flower. No idea what- I don't- I don't know anything. I'm big and stu- Duh! Me stupid! Me stupid phoenix! Duh! Decorated with some pretty flowers and a beautiful hanging scroll. That's the outside. This is the first time I've seen a sliding door like this in person. Somebody look up the original Japanese. Because phoenix is lying. <laughs> Sequel where they solved the death of phoenix right who died of bear. No. I would never kill- I would never wish the death of, of, um, edgy boy's boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> hey, you! Hold on now. This gal's got a few questions to ask. Wait, gal? Is this, um, a lot of heart? Hmm. Sure, I've heard that. Southern accent! Yay! Oh, well, I'll be. It's Mr. Phoenix Ryan. How you been? I haven't seen you in, what, a week? Um, you are a lot of hearts. Bingo. I'm the one and only paranormal photographer. A lot of hearts. Oh, my God. Because she took a picture of me and Faye at the end of the last game. So I guess you're still at it, being a photographer, I mean. Of course. And today I'm going to get myself a real scoop. You wait and see. Oh, that's right. This ain't no time to be wasting time. Channeling's about to get started. You're not supposed to go in there. You'll get physics. Is it that time already? The object swap will cause you to bl get blasted over the wall. What are you waiting around for? Come on. Na, 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 na. A lot of heart. I've been judging her harshly because of that case. Phoenix. But I guess coming back here, it's a good times too. Yes. Go to there, I guess. <coughs> June nineteen, Fay Manor Meditation Room. You will now begin the channeling. Mystic Mayan honored guest, please proceed into the channeling chamber. <coughs> with this, with this, I can finally swat at those pesky flies once and for all. I hate you. I'm gonna kill everyone. Okay. Uh, uh, no. You would love to hear them apologize, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, Mr. Wright? Me? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Whatever. Get out of here. Mystic Maya, do you have the Shedman Chamber key? Yeah, it's this big key! Well, it's beautiful. It's a gemstone. That is most satisfactory. That key is one of a kind, so please take care of it well. Okay. I'll be fine, Aunt Morgan. Okay, Dr. Gray, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Finally, let's go. Click. Asterisk. Click. Asterisk. Now let us wait patiently out here for them. I'm going to sip so much. She's going to have to take major bathroom about how much she's sipping. <coughs> Please have some lovely bitter green tea and jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. Whoa. What kind of, what kind of, just go to physics object through wall and die and explode? Jaw droppingly large spirit strawberry dessert sounds like cool. Sounds sounds pretty pog. Hold on now, Granny. She's not a Granny. Uh, she's Aunt Granny. How come we ain't allowed in that room? How am I supposed to photograph the ghost like a pervert? Dear Madam, you have an impressive grasp of English. Mercy, brother. What? I'm from the heart of the heartland. Is that so? Then I humbly request that you return to this heart of the heartland. Whoa! She's a jerk! What are you- This is Korean Village. We're literally in Japan. Die! 
You cannot follow our traditions and rules. We request that you leave, or else I'm going to brain blast your ass. Go ahead. Sorry. Wow, she shut Lara up. Now that's impressive. Wow, Phoenix is so mean. Now then, let us wait. <laughs> oh no! Hey now, what was that just now? <laughs> oh no! My. <laughs> Get knocked around. Sad. Came from inside the channeling chamber. A gun blasted across. What? Hey, objection. That's a gunshot. Oh, okay. Sad. That's a gunshot. Excuse me. I've heard that sound before. It's a gunshot. I bet my Afro one. Don't. Maya, Maya's in there. Break into the chamber. You can't. Wow, Mr. Lario, what's the plan? What else? We're gonna break in. <coughs> what? But, but there's only one key and that kid's got it. We're gonna have to break in. Isn't that, is that alright, Miss Faye? Well, yes, but there is one matter. That is, you are a scrawny manlet and that's a huge ass door. <laughs> Don't try to stop me. You can send the repair bill to the Wright and Co. at law offices later. Lawyer blast! Yeah, no, that's what I call being a man. Book! Asterisk slam, asterisk. Asterisk slam, asterisk. Asterisk crash, asterisk. Dr. Gray. Asterisk click, asterisk. <laughs> I... Jujito! Uh-oh! I was murdered. Maya! That man murdered me. So I killed him. Like, my bro! What did you think was gonna happen? Watch out for my mystic gun. She got haunted! The... Dr. Gray is such an idiot. He's like, I'm gonna summon this ghost who hates me and has nothing to lose and tell her to write a confession that she killed the people I killed. No! I have a feeling this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh God, we're gonna have to like find evidence that ghosts are real. What? Asterisk, click asterisk. Like, ghosts are demonstrably real, but we're gonna have to prove it to- Oh, yup, judge. It's gonna suck. Blood out of time like this. Time like this is perfect for snapping up shots. But anyway, what's going on in here? This gal, is she- Maya? No, she's a ghost. And she just shot dead the man. Duh. Step away from there. Please- Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police that there's been a ghost- Hurry! For there are more victims here. What? I'm going to psychic blast everybody. Hey, let's go, shady boy. Leave us to Granny. She's not Granny, y'all. Uh... June 19, correct. We were importantly outside the room, which makes me think a bit like an elevator case where the kill was not what it looked like. Probably. Like it's so. It seems so cut and dry from here that it's gonna actually be double twist, you know? My cell phone don't even do it. So I ended up doing the phone booth like a peasant. 911, that's the Japanese. Call, call me, police. And? They're on their way. They're gonna be here in six hours. That's good. Lordy, I saw a genuine mysterious phenomenon. She seems really on edge because of all this. Not that I blame her. I'm scared to death by what's going on. What happened? Hey, mister. That gal. Maya. She wasn't the one that pulled that trigger, was she? No, it's the ghost. That's a ghost! There's blood everywhere. Oh, yeah. A lot of don't know that when Maya's channeling, her whole physical appearance changes. Then again, weren't there only two of them there? That's genuinely why they have to have the robes that are like wrap me ups like that. Otherwise, everybody explode out of the front. <laughs> everybody, everybody explode, explode out the front. Then again, weren't there two of them, two of them in there? I reckon she must have done it then. Dr. Gray. Lotto, what you know about Dr. Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. That one gent with a bad reputation. 
Really? I hear he's good at surgery and stuff, but his personality stinks like wet sheep. <laughs> Do wet sheep smell bad? Ugh. I sort of got the same impression myself. Yeah, he's terrible. I'm glad he's dead. He's real controlling. As soon as his nurse or patients don't do what he says, he starts to holler him. Sounds like a Gord the Gordon Ramsay of surgery. I'm glad Gordon Ramsay's dead. He got shot by a ghost. Must have been real. <laughs> if this video goes up and then Gordon Ramsay dies, it's gonna be really problematic. <laughs> Must have been real rough to work for him. Present for you, stupid. The map. <coughs> hey, that'll be here. That'll be here soon, right? The police, I mean. Oh, this is cool. They, <laughs> if you present them some nonsense, they just ignore you. Hey, that'll be here soon, right? The police, I mean. I reckon you should be getting back to the crime scene now. Okay. Like they just, they just give you a hint because you're obviously grasping. That's actually really good game design. Phoenix Rifle Killing of Gordon Ramsay, Defendant Magica Baby. <laughs> this sous chef died and became a ghost into a medium and killed him with a gun. Shooting him with a gun. June 19, Fame Manor Medition Room. Ah, uh, Mr. Wright. Miss Faye, how's, um, Mystic Maya? She has returned to this world. The spirit severing technique was successful. Let me see her, please. She is still unconscious. I humbly request you wait outside for her recovery. Guess I just- She's still unconscious. Wow. I guess I just have to wait. Asterisk, sigh, asterisk. <laughs> Yay! I forgot that the police was gumshoe. <laughs> Yo, the police are here. So it's- <laughs> The police are here. Sorry to keep you waiting. We had to drive a long way. Huh? You again? What are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? It's actually kind of funny. Gumshoe was in the area for a business trip, pal. Well, time to check out crime scene. Gumshoe will have to question everyone here later on. So just sit tight, okay? <coughs> sit your twinkle butt down. Why is he grinning at me? Shall I show you the scene of the crime, Detective Jim Shoe? Uh, my name is Gum. My, uh, Gumshoe name is Jim Shoe. The two of them went to the channeling chamber. I guess all I can do for them now is see what they were going to say. Go the windy way. Nope. And then that. Hmm, pretty sure there was someone sleeping here earlier. Lake, how can I help you? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, this is crazy. It's strawberry dessert. Ugh. I, I'm, uh, that is a. Um, Lake, so isn't it about time to start? Huh? Time to start what? You know, like the channeling. Oh no, she missed it. She was sleeping. Channeling? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. No, actually, the situation has kind of changed. Huh? Like, what do you mean? Please stay calm, but there has been a murder. Um, so, like, a murder is that thing where, like, one person kills another, right? Yes. Murder is kill a person. Oh, that's, uh, what are the, what are the words I'm looking for? It's like, like, totally a bummer. <laughs> She's awesome. Yeah, after all that effort, that's all she had to say. She's so stupid. What a good dog. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to, like, introduce myself. My name is... <laughs> Wait. <coughs> Wait. 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 Well, oh, no. Wait. She's the one... What? Is she dead? She died in the car. In there. Um, at the college, I'm researching and studying parapathic. 
parapisi parapisi shlogi parapisi shlogi parapisi that's right um i think people like usually call it occult studies or something like supernatural phenomenon is psychic powers that's all stuff that's pretty out there i'm phoenix right attorney at law phoenix you are li phoenix uh, like whatever like it's neither here nor there because phoenix doesn't date women but he needs to be m more more like sensitive about magic and then and then. so what brings you here today and then and then. Um, like, so, I was the one who told Dr. Gray about this place. Wait, hang on. He asked me, like, do you know a good spirit medium? Wait, shh, did she do it? Dr. What the heck? Wait, if she's dead, then how did her ghost come out? Is she even here right now? This is scary! Dr. Gray does say something about- Yeah, Amy said about the ghost. Dr. Gray said something about this place being introduced to this place. Cause, like, talking to dead people and, like, multiple personalities are my thing. She's a system, yay. Okay, then why is your tight nap here? Like, I wasn't feeling good. Oh, look at tongue! But she's so cute. She's a doggy. I'm like allergic to sesame seeds. No, that sucks. I love sesame seeds. It would suck to be allergic to them. She got sick tummy. They like must have put some on the food they serve for lunch. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. So I like felt sick and came in here to like sleep. I totally feel like a waste of my time because I like slept a long time. She's so stupid. I hope she didn't do a kill. She didn't go to jail. So you were sleeping here the entire time. Yeah, ever since lunch. So you don't know anything about the murder that took place. Like, what? Oh, that. I like totally know nothing. So who was like, you know, killed? The surgeon that requested the channeling Dr. Gray. You and Dr. Gray know each other, right? She's such an idiot. Stupid sleepy system. Wait, is she a system? Wait, maybe the you maybe Wait. What if she is getting possessed? Oh, if she is getting possessed and having system mode about the uh, the dead person. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? What? Huh? What? It? I don't know any Dr. Gray. What? You do? Yes, you do. You said what? Well, this is just a stupid lie. What's the point? Then what was all that talk about him earlier? Huh? Well, uh, like a long, long time ago, I was like a patient. Yeah. She died! She sounds like she's trying to hide something. I think she died. Windy wait. <laughs> Are you able to hear that, by the way? <laughs> I don't know how well it's being picked up by the microphone. Yay! Cute baby! <clears throat> hey, hey, who are you? <laughs> Wind. Yes, yay. You're a pearl, right? Hmm, son of a ever. Nani, what's that you got in your hand? The big key! I've seen this somewhere before. For crying me out loud of my eyes. Excuse me, child. I know. But. Spring! Spring! Someone spam the chat. Spring! Someone look it up. <laughs> it's just quite enough that one of the times I thought it was a game sound effect. <laughs> what is it? Is it my hair? Is it too spiky? Not spiky enough? <laughs> Spring! 
Where did she go? Lada! She's probably scattered of her wits after the murder take place right by her. Lada! God, what? God, don't let him be next! God, God, don't let it be me next. God, don't let it be next! Eek, don't scare me like that. What do you mean? You're the one scaring me. If I weren't so tough, you'd have another dead body on your hands. Mine. Talk. Got any ideas, Lotta? I love how Lotta is now, like, our advisor. Is she gonna stay our advisor for the rest of the game? Did you see or notice anything that stuck out at you? Nah, well, maybe one thing. Nani. Turns out my poor stomach's not good at handling this kind of thing. Huh? Curses and ghosts and stuff coming back to get you. This is just too much, I say. She's not very good at this paranormal. What well, else too much? Being a cult photographer. That's some scary stuff. I think I'll try being a... Oh my god. Lotta. That's what it's some scary stuff. So I think I'm gonna try being a celebrity photographer now. Going out to photos more within your reach from that one. More glamorous gore. Nani. Oh yeah. What is it? I took some hot pictures earlier. Uh. Remember? I took some pictures of the murder scene inside. Ugh, she did it. Too even. The seance murder. I sure like the ring of that. It'll be a sensational story. Lotta! You are too horny for dead! Sorry, but my journalistic sense is burning inside me. Hate to cut and run, but I'm heading back in. Gotta beat those cops in the scoop of the century. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who's scary, a lot of other spirits. How about Dr. Christian Gray, who did a murder? Why does it feel like I've been through this before? The police are blizzy running here and there. I don't see Maya anywhere. Duh! Hey you! Don't touch anything! Look, I really need to ask you some questions. Um, don't look at Gumshoe like Gumshoe's some kind of uncary joke. Tell you what, pal. Gumshoe let you ask a few questions, okay? Maya! I know Maya now. I hate- Gumshoe hate to break this to you, pal, but... With the way things look now, that girl is the only one who could have done it. Do they- like, when they're doing a- I'm pretty sure that like- Cause ghosts exist, and we know that they do. And the court knows that ghosts exist, because they did- they did the channeling. Or- Maybe they don't, cause it's called a phony. But like, no way can Maya get done for it, because she was haunted. I think we have to- it'll be- the puzzle will be proving it. Only Maya and the victim are inside this room after all. But Maya is- You can ask about her later, pal. Right now, Gumshoe got a job to do and that's collecting evidence. Detective Gumshoe looks like a real professional. No, he doesn't. Duh! And yet, something about his expression still looks the same. Duh, me Gumshoe! So, <laughs> Dr. Gray was shot with a gun, huh? He was shot in the forehead. But... What? But he was also stabbed in the chest with a knife. There was two gunshots as well, remember? Bang, bang. A knife. Basically, the vic... the oh, victim. Was first, first stabbed, then he was shot. A knife. No! Slide. Uh, hey, pal, no touching. Just looking. Hey, Gumshoe can't be too careful if a kid like her can be a murder suspect. Now, can Gumshoe? 
I guess if I want to search the room, I'm gonna have to come back later. Okay. Secret entrance to the room. Yo. Because they emphasize, like, there's only two people in the room. So it's probably one of those, um, like, puzzle, uh, riddles. Oh dear, madam, you have such impeccable timing. Like, what's all the buzz? Duh, gumshoe! I mean, <laughs> duh, okay, everybody. Listen up, you two pal. Gumshoe going to give you all a brief update. Right now, looks like investigation not going to be done until real late. That is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here under the roof of the Fae Manor tonight. Yay! Go to bed. But then, what a mess. I can't believe how crazy this place turned out. Maya was arrested and taken away by police. Again! How many times she murdered now? I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. June 2020, 2020. Asterisk, yawn, asterisk. Ugh. Morning. I guess I must have nodded up at some point. Hope Maya's okay. I should hurry and get to the detention center. A sap. June 2020, 2020. So crying. Sad. Nick. Hi. Maya. What am I going to do? I murdered someone. Dang it. Calm down, Maya. Take deep breaths. Come to think of it, the first time I met her. It all started right here in this detention center. <laughs> I finally, I finally get to see you again, and it's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. I might as well have been me. I was too weak, and I, I couldn't control the spirit's power. So, I don't want to bring up that case quite yet, but... You don't have to be nice to me, I understand. What? So the master or something of the- Oh my god. He can't not, can he? You're the master of the Korean School of Channeling. Try that, Venus. Maybe cut the or something, you disrespectful. Actually, my mother is for now. But since that title is passed from mother to daughter, I guess it will be someday. But many people think channeling isn't real, it's all just an act. You believe in us, don't you? Yeah, because I've seen it with my own eye. Yeah, because of sproing. When Maya's channeling a spirit, not only her voice, but her whole physical appearance changes. It's a supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. Scary. Happened this time too. Dr. Gray said they wanted to call the nurse, so that's the nurse. Maya's body must have taken on that nurse's appearance. What is it? What happened? Wait a minute. That's the technique. You got your finger like that. What? <laughs> that's how you get possessed by ghosts. Put your put your finger like that. I went into the room with Dr. Gray behind the door. I sat down across from him. Okay. We closed our eyes and began the channeling. Doesn't it sound like creepy, like the beginning of a scary story. Phoenix for my for my whole life. And that's the last thing I remember. Nani! After fear comes to my body, I lose myself, my consciousness. Then you don't remember a single thing. When I came to, I was being held in my aunt's arms. And there was blood all over my clothes. Hmm. Oh, but I do remember having a dream. A dream? Dream. What kind of dream did you have while you were channeling? I know, I can't remember all that well, but... I was dead. And buried in the ground. <laughs> Sad. I couldn't move and it was unbearable. Really suffocating. Went something like that. I have no idea what to say to that. It's sad. It was a really familiar smell, too. Under the ground. Yeah, I can't quite place it, but I know it smelled that same scent. Was it dirt? I guess this is the information I'm going to gather for today. 
I'll be back later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you prepare it, okay? What? In the meantime, please make sure you prepare it. What are you talking about? Huh? It. What is it? The documents requesting me to be your attorney, of course. Oh, okay. Think. But, what's wrong? Be sure. I mean, I'm guilty. No, you're not. Oh no, what's this music remind me of? But I did! I killed those people with these two hands. That's enough, Maya. <coughs> it's hopeless. If you defend me, you'll lose, I'm sure. Maybe, maybe we will, like... Didn't we cl technically clear... Um... Her mom? Didn't we technically clear her mom when we solved DL6? Like, doesn't that make she's not a crime idiot? We sat there and closed our eyes. Phoenix, whoa, scary. Stop it. Get some help. Clip. Nick, help me. I'm scared. Don't worry, I will. When's the trial? Sounds like tomorrow. As usual, zero prep time. Okay, I'm going now. Goodbye. Wait, Nani? This jewel, this beautiful comma. <laughs> this is called a Magatama. It's magic charm. It's always protected me. Give this to Pearly. I'll show sure she'll lend her spiritual powers. This course move fast down. Maya's Magatama. Slightly translucent. A smile, but it's a deep, profound aura about it. It feels like a pause, like in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> yeah. Hey, have this. Make sure you know to the pearly, okay, Nick? So it should be big help to you. Okay. Matane. Crayon Village. Cray 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 crayon village. Yes. Yay! Yay! I did it! <laughs> I have to save Maya no matter what. It's her life or mine, I guess. Not the end of the world happened to Rue. Fame Mana, Medician Room. The Medician Room serves a rural sewer room. Medium. Even medium's in training, I'd wager, but it's pretty distorted, deserted today. Probably because of the murder yesterday. <laughs> Little Peril isn't here today. Maybe she's at school. I wouldn't bet your hinder on it. I don't think she goes to school. I think she goes to magic school. Oh, hey, like, you're that guy from yesterday. The uh, dentist guy. <laughs> She's my spirit animal. Look at her. No, no, no. I'm a lawyer. That's right. Uh, Mr. Smith, Esquire. That's right. Wait. I mean, you're wrong. My name is right. Smith. Right. Well, I got like three letters at least. I don't think she gets the point. Smith. Right. Smith. No. Anyway, why are you here? So, like, I saw this thing called par para parasi 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 <laughs> at this college, and like, if um, you told me about that yesterday, sesame allergy. What I'd really like to know is why you're still here today. Oh, so like, that's what you've meant. Like, you should have been more like clear about that. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really, uh... Huh? That's it? Why'd you stop my sentence? She's sleeping! She's so sleeping. Did I? So, like, maybe she's talking to herself. So, like, what was I talking about again? Blah, blah, blah. Come <laughs> on. She's really cute. They flooded one another genuine mysterious phenomenon just right here. What is wrong with you? See, Venus has a sudgy problem. 
in there, in there. So why are you still here today? Like, there's so much for me to like study here. Like what? Like the medium's training or like how they inherit their spiritual power. I suppose this village is a real thing after all. So like, I asked if I could stay here for like a little longer. She sure seems like she's sleeping. Nani, have you heard about the murder? It's like totally scary. She says with a silly smile flashed on her face. She's so cute. So, do you know anything about that might help? Wait a minute. Somehow I don't think she thinks. About the victim, Dr. Gray. I don't know who you're talking about. No, she's lying. We know that she does because of, um... I'm pretty sure she just straight up said so. Like, wait, I think you asked about him, like, yesterday, too. That's right. Her reaction was exactly what I asked was. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? She grabbed me, she bit her hat like a dog. Oh, really? And what was all that talk about him earlier? Yeah, she did talk about him earlier. Huh? Well, uh, like, a long, long time ago, I was like a patient. She might have been- I think she died. I think she died one of the 14 people. Or something. Okay, she's definitely hiding something from me. Like, is something wrong? Wrong way. Position room. <laughs> The leg. She has the dopey personality to contrast with her third act explode. Oh yeah, I bet she gets really scary. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. Just take this chance and thoroughly check the room. Lucky I might uncover a clue or two. Uh-oh. Oh, Mr. Wright. Good morning. I am on my way to go meet Mystic Maya. And I thought to bring her some items to make her feel more at home. Namely, tea so bitter you lose your tongue. And jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. I'm sure Maya will be very grateful. That's Mystic Maya, you stupid idiot. Ugh, she is one scary lady. Oh dear, sweet Mystic Maya. Pearl went constantly for you last night, as did I. I know it's important for me to search the site, but I should ask her some questions. What happened? I'd like to ask you a few questions about what happened yesterday. What happened always is a good thing to ask. It's so funny. Do you mean that awful tragedy? That man that murdered me! I'm kill him! Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Yeah. What happened in the room? Well, first I struck Mystic Maya- <laughs> What? I struck Mystic Maya on the head to make her go unconscious, correct? That is correct. That's just a Next, I performed the spirit severing technique. Spirit severing technique. The spirit of that nurse was inside of Mystic Maya's body. I used the technique to send the nurse's spirit back to the other world. Spirit severing technique, parentheses, blood trauma. I wonder if this kind of testimony is even admissible in a court of law. Oh no. Oh, it's gonna be so annoying. Freaking. Edgeworth is gonna be like, no, uh you are a stupid idiot. And then Phoenix will go to jail. <laughs> Vanishing Rock. By the way, what is this room exactly? This is the candle room. This room was created for the sole purpose of preventing such a tragedy as yesterday. What are you talking about? Sometimes when an inexperienced medium calls an especially strong spirit, 
That spirit may become violent in revolt, as you witnessed yesterday. Revolt? But how? When the spirit enters a medium's body, she loses her will and herself steps aside. To put it another way, the spirit is bothering this medium's body, good sir. Well, isn't that extremely dangerous? Wow, Phoenix is starting to understand. An experienced medium has little problem controlling the spirit. But Maya, I mean... Uh, but Maya, I mean Mystic Maya, that was her first channeling. And that was why I insisted on locking the door. However, I never thought there would be some danger upon the client himself. I am grateful that one of our heirlooms was not damaged in those horrible incidents. And that would be that folding screen. Karain Sacred Writings. Along with the Karain Sacred Urn. That is Wait. Is that the, the pot? I ever found out that something had happened to either one. Oh, the humanity. I'd prefer to be worrying about a folding screen at a time like this. I guess this isn't some dilapidated old screen after all. Peril! So how Peril doing? Mr. Wright. Yes. In this world, Pearl is my most treasured possession. When compared to even Mystic Maya. Hmm? Even Mystic Maya, Pearl has the power to spiritual power to become a master. That's very impressive. Until now, the women of the branch family have thought themselves to be inferior. But Pearl is different. Uh oh, this is scary. Her spiritual strength is so great, it's even greater than some of the main family. Yes, Pearl is a channeling prodigy into the pride of the branch family. Did she do something? Wow, she's really fired up now. In any case, our world is so different from yours. Perhaps it is best for you to quit, good sir. Yes, quit. Quit what? Quit your job. Nah, nah, nah. Beautiful and expensive folding screen. Also quite old. Seems to be some sort of sacred text written on it, but I'm too stupid. Think this is. It's a hole. It's a bullet hole. Why is it on that side? Why is it on this side of the room? We saw before which side they were on, and Maya was on this side, and Christian Grey was on this side. Did he try to shoot her? Someone waited behind the screen. Yo. Well then, I do believe it's time for you to take my leave before I notice that hole and freak out. What was that? Uh, I mean, Mystic Maya. I will tell her. Okay. Asterisk, sigh, asterisk. Plant. I guess this is an altar. Whatever it is, it feels very important. A mirror-like mirror object with a cloudy reflective surface, and some branches of a sacred tree have been set in a predetermined arrangement. I guess we used during the channeling. There's some empty space behind the folding screen. You don't say. Huh. That's interesting! The light of the candles can't reach back there, so it's completely dark. Hope no one is hiding back there. Oh yeah, rub it in, huh? Yeah, Amy for sure was there. There's blood on the ground. This is where there's blood. This is where the medium sits, I assume. There are four panels on this floor. The straw in the flooring feels a little damp. Probably from the humidity in the air or perhaps the blood. No matter what I can do, my eyes keep being born to blood and blood. Hmm. Small hole looks like a butthole. Brum. Brum, brum, brum. Winding way. Yay! Cute! Hi! Ugh, you surprised me! And how are you today? Hmm, I guess she hasn't opened the friendly chatting. Huh? She's still holding something in her hand. She's still got the key. Looks like the same thing she had yesterday. Peril! Ano! Uh, Sproing! Goodbye! Huh? If only there was something that would catch her interest. Maybe then she'd talk to me. Wait.
Give her the thing. Oh, yeah. Maya said to give this to you. Oh, no. Ugh, I'm in trouble now. If Morgan sees us like this, I'll be next on their channeling. Yeah, you're gonna die. This mystic Maya's coma. She, she spoke. Who are you? I'm Phoenix Wright. I work with Maya. You work with Mystic Maya. You, you're Mr. Nick, right? Uh, excuse me. I better know who she picked Nick up from. I know who you are. You're, you're Mystic Maya's special someone. No, Pearl. She is, she is 17. What? So then, of course, you're going to help Mystic Maya, aren't you? That's what you're going to do. Well, yeah, I will. Oh, wow, it's like a beautiful fairy tale. That earnest look shining brightly in your eyes. It must be true love. What? Why am I being bullied into a bright red lobster? I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya. Ah, what a wonderful relationship. Wait, I, uh, I mean, we aren't... It's not like that. It's not like that. Hee <laughs> hee. I can tell you're a good person. All right, Mr. Nick. I may be small, but I'm going to help you in any way I can. Look out here! She's so cool. Na 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 Peril! Peril! Are you friends with Maya? Spring? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. She's also cousins as well. I want to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Wow. I had no idea Maya was so revered. Usually when people don't like use Mystic Maya's title, I kick their ass and kill them. Kill them and stab them dead. So I use my psychic blast. I like her more when she didn't talk. Why? She's cute. Sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Nick, that's okay. Because, because you're special to her. She's just stupid. She's okay. Where in the world did she get an idea like that? By the way, this may be rude, but which channeling school are you from? Get his ass! Which channeling school? Yes, for example, I studied the crayon technique. I get it. No, 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 I'm lawyer. Roya. Lawyer? Yeah. Does that relate to spirit mediums anyway? Freaking apparently! None that I know of. Wait, are you telling me you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. Maya did say Pearl doesn't know anything about the outside world. She's also like seven or something. What's that thing? So what's that you got there, Pearl? Oh, this? I found it yesterday. Hmm. If you want it, I can give it to you. Okay. Thank you. She just found it. Okay. Hee <laughs> hee. You look like a child at a toy store, Mr. Nick. She not only speaks in a refined manner, but laughs in one, too. She was like, ooh hoo 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 Black key added to cord record. It's so beautiful. I want that. Uh, Mr. Nick. Yes, Perils. I can call you that, right? Uh -uh. You're too cute just to call you Pearl. Mm, weird. She knows what the toy store is. Aw. Sure, Mr. Nick. Um, are you okay? Are you sure it's okay for me to have this Magatama? Yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. Spring! But I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge this Magatama with spiritual energy. <gasps> Yay! She's gonna power up! Bring! <laughs> comma blast! <laughs> power the comma! <laughs> <laughs> Look at it now! It's so powerful! <laughs> Please take this, I'm sure it'll be helpful. What you talking about? It will let you see people's secrets! <laughs> Power comma! See people's secrets? Yes. Uh, if it's alright with you, I would like to accompany you for a little while. Wait, so she's gonna be a sidekick? Cool. I can explain the Magatama's power to you and meet someone hiding a secret. It's really older. Hatch is a person on death. So do you. Okay.
Because uh, the lady talked about the urn. I think it's important. The screen and the urn are the important things. Hello again. We seem to be seeing a lot of each other today. Aw, she's like totally cute. Is she like your daughter? What? No! How old do you think I am? I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Christian Gray from Twilight. I like totally don't know him. Uh, she died. What? She's in bondage. Uh, what is that? Huh? You can see it, can't you, Mr. Nick? You can see it. You can see the lock on that person's heart. Huh? What? This is the power of the Magatama. That comma can see someone's bondage. Only you can see these psyche locks. Psyche. Psyche? Psyche locks. Psyche locks. How do you pronounce that word? <laughs> Psyche. Psyche lock. Psyche. Psyche. Coochie lock. Ha! The more someone wants to hide, the more locks you'll see. Being a lawyer is all about channeling spiritual energy. What is a psych? Is a psych? Psych or psyche? Psychic lock. If it's only one, I think you can easily unlock it. Unlock, but how? Coochie Wooshie Armor Lock. Please use Mystic Maya's Magatama on this person. Use! <laughs> Just blast it. Now let's remove the lock. I have no idea what she's talking about, but okay. Must be careful though, Mr. Nick. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you. You will take psychic damage, for real? If you don't think you have the proof you need, you must have the courage to stop. Okay, I gotta start somewhere. Let's give Pissy luck a try. Victim. I don't want to ask you again. Why you know this person? I totally don't know that guy. Like, you're more persistent than a roach. Boink! <laughs> Boom! This girl is hiding something. I'm sure of it. I guess I have to no choice but to remove this lock. Okay! So I have to use Mag Magatama. What? Use it. This girl's had some sure of it. Move the lock. Use my as my guitar. Use. Ugh. Present. Kabam! Oh, okay, that's how you represent it. Bonk! Coochie lock. The victim. In them in there, I believe you do know who Dr. Christian Gray is. I told you, like, how many times do I, like, have to repeat myself? If you're, like, so totally sure, then where's, like, your proof? Well, it may be possibly that you don't actually know Mr. Gray in person. I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what you're talking about? Like, indirectly. What's that word mean? I'm so stupid. I would go to university. I'm so stupid, little doggy. I should try a show that possibly existed for now. Huh. So something that shows a possible connection. I don't understand. And them in there. Oh, she's 18 now. I guess that means it's okay then. Kabam! Here's your proof. Blake, what you talking about? Ouch! Die. Do 
make a mistake, I will hurt you. She's just, she's just poking him in the ass with a stick. Have the courage to stop. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. Yeah. Duh! Hey, it's you, pal. So you're going to be her lawyer, I bet. Yes. Oh, Gumshoe really feel bad for you, pal. Just as once, Gumshoe wish I could... G G Gumshoe wish he could be on your side. Detective Gumshoe. Duh, but Gumshoe shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to you. Hey, you are a cute kid. Ha ha ha. Gumshoe not scary, honest. Wow, I never knew Gumshoe liked kids. Hey, I know. Go to show you something cool. How's this? Well, <laughs> it's a real genuine pistol. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, why are you doing showing something dangerous? Oh, sorry. It's just, hey, hey, kid, I don't want you like. Look at this. Pretty cool, huh? Nah, 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 nah. Maya guilt. What about Maya and the guilt of Corral? Gumshoe don't think you can win, pal. We're talking about proof. We got a few pieces. We got prayer. Yeah, pal. That puffy-haired photographer is going to testify tomorrow. He must be talking about Lotta. Actually, speaking of Lotta... I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures of the mercy in a sign. Okay. Lotta's hot pictures. I wonder what her camera captured. And boobs. Besides, besides, you must have realized by now, pal. There's no way anyone other than Maya Fake would have done it. Huh? Better, better. What am I supposed to say to Pearls now? The victim. About Dr. Gray. Maybe it really is said in the US. Oh no. The victim wasn't super famous, but people still knew who he was. His face was all over those tabloid shows last year. Yeah, I know. Gumshoe was looking through some newspapers from last year and... Huh? Gumshoe could have sworn... I... Gumshoe cut an article out, but Gumshoe guessed Gumshoe must have lost it. So many eyes in the sentence. He's searching through his pockets, and boy are those big. Hmm, it looked really interesting too. Hey, do you have a copy, pal? A copy of that article. I think Dr. Gray might have brought a copy to the office when he came back. Oh, maybe we've got to go back to the office to get it. Tomorrow's trial. But Maya's trial tomorrow. Gumshoe got two pieces of news for you, pal. First of all, you SOL is stupid. Yeah, bad news and even worse news. <laughs> so which do you want to hear first? I don't really care. It doesn't change the fact I'm not going to like it. Okay, pal. Well, the prosecutor for trial is Prosecutor Von Karma. Yay! <laughs> what? Von Karma? <laughs> <laughs> Manfred von Karma was an awe inspiring veteran prosecutor. He wasn't that awe inspiring, he was just cheating all the time. Evan never lost a case in the 40 years of his career, and he raised a fearsome disciple. The horrible aftertaste of the evil he force fed me is. Whoa, what happened off screen? The evil he force fed you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Phoenix corruption arc. I think he went to jail. Wait a sec. But then Von Karma stand trial and that's where the other piece of bad news comes in. The Von Karma you're facing tomorrow is actually his successor. Successor? Successor. So, uh, who is the successor, the Von Karma? Literally, pal. It's Prosecutor Von Karma's kid. His kid became a prosecutor real love. Like 13 and hasn't lost a trial since. Oh my god. Also, an anime prosecutor. That's why they call a prodigy, pal. Hmm. Kid, huh? Wait a sec. Wait a sec. 13? This kid became a prosecutor at the age of 13. I mean, a prodigy like that, I would have heard something about. Oh no, no. The kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. 
That country's got a lot of stuff. That country's got a lot of stuff. And it's... <laughs> that country's got a lot of stuff. And it's a great place to develop a person's talents. Germany, huh? That's probably why I've never heard of this person. Ugh. Still, all it takes is someone mentioning the name Von Karma, and I go, vomit. I get terrible flashbacks to that case. Bing. Bong. Stop it. Get a grip on yourself, Venus. None of this matters anymore now that he's gone. Ba 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 ba. Let's go back to office because Someone said there would be a um, an article. Phew, feels like I've been gone forever. It's only been one day. Oh, that's right. Where's that newspaper? Yes, found the newspaper. Ah, here it is, right on top of my desk. This is the only thing left behind that's going to be of any help. One year ago, a May tuned 14 patients died from malpractice at surgery daily. Okay. Oh, this, uh, patient. She, she was a patient, remember? This is the evidence. Boo, 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 boo. Wibby way. Na, 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 na. Time for you to get, get blasted. But ow! The victim. In them in there. I believe you told who Dr. Dre is. I told you. Like, how many times do I got to repeat myself? You're like so totally sure that where's your proof? Well, it may be possible that you never met the Dr. Dre in person. I do believe you may have directly known about him. What were you talking about? Yes. Kapow! Bonk! Here's your proof, stupid. Like, what you talking about? Ouch. Is it blue? What? Perils did warn me. I need to start saving. that reality. She's too dumb to recognize proof so we can't do it. Sad. Na, 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 na. 
Uh, would you like that? The Dr. Gray brought this over to my office the other day and... Hey! Hit that new story! Oh, we needed to give it to Gumshoe because he lost it. There's one about malpractice suit. Fourteen patients died and caused a huge stink. Uh... Immune to psychic damage. No psychic to damage. Yeah, but that's not all, pal. Things only got worse after that. You mean the care accident of nurse died in? Hmm. Oh, here we go. Gumshoe brought in own clipping with today. With him today. Here, pal. This is for you. Okay, thank you. Newspaper clipping too, and it's a court record. Aha. Yes! Wait, they are sisters. Okay. Their sisters are mom and child. Hey, stupid! Get calmed! Bam! <laughs> Punctuated! And then and there, I believe you do know who Dr. Dre is. I told you how many times I got to tell myself. If you're like so totally sure I want your proof. But it may be possible you never actually met Dr. Gray in person. I do believe you might have at least indirectly known of him. Like, what do you mean like indirectly? I should try to show you possibly exist for now. So something has shown the collection. Kablamo! Die! Take a look at this photograph. Like, what is it? A story about an accident. Please read the victim's name. Um, M -m -m -ne? M -m -ne is a pretty rare name, wouldn't you say? Miss M -m -m -ne. <laughs> I <ne> <laughs> Miss Miss M -m -m -ne wouldn't happen to be a relative of yours, would she? <laughs> so you noticed. She was my older sister. I'm sorry about your loss. Your sister. Was she in us? Perhaps at Dr. Gray's surgical clinic? Think. Gray's surgical clinic. I don't think I need to tell you that the clinic was run by the victim. Dr. Turner Gray. Which is how you are biting your hat right now. <laughs> Unchain your brain. <laughs> oh, I healed from the, uh, from, that restored my sense of self-worth. Please tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. Whoa! Whoa! Scary! My my sister's name was Mimimine. She was like a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. That's what I thought. I heard that like Dr. Gray was really tough on people. Like a total slave driver. My sis was like always coming home totally wiped out because she was overworked. Wiped out, so that's why she fell asleep at the wheel. That guy, like, drove my sis so hard that, like, that's why the accident happened. More 14 people died from malpractice. Yeah, like, I think that was the doctor's fault. So, she absolutely did it. My sis was pushed by, like, everyone's expectations and, like, her duties and stuff. And that pushed her to her death. Oh, I'm sorry. So you definitely did it. So, like, are we done? I have, like, already told you my story, like, everyone. Do you understand? Do you understand now, Mr. Nick? That's how a pussy lock works. <laughs> well, I don't plan to pry into people's hearts unless I absolutely need to. The lock this time was pretty easy, but you might meet people who are just willing to give in later on. If we don't have enough prayer, be careful and know when to stop trying. What did that achieve? Somebody sleeping. Wait, somebody is sleeping. Where did this box come from? It wasn't there before. I'm sure this wasn't here last night. It was like a box for storing clothes. It's pretty big, but just clothes. It's mostly empty, but if you follow the people channeling in costumes, it's not. I'm looking this up. A 
set of clothes in a style typical of a particular country or historical period. What? Really? Okay. Hmm. It's just a set of clothes. That's actually kind of neutral. Weird. What was it saying? Pretty big was just clothes. Mostly empty, but good. It does look pretty big. Duh! So we know she did it. Her sister did it, maybe, like... Cause she brought Dr. Grey here. Actually, maybe her sister did do it. Maybe it's like... She knew that they were psychic, so she like... Brought the man here to summon her sister so her sister would kill him or something? Like... That's a good way of getting revenge on somebody. Anyway. Mr. Nick. Huh? What's wrong? I have never left Karain Village. Really? Wow, that's uh, pretty amazing. You are going to meet with Mystic Maya, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Okay. Hey, wait. She ran off again. Well... I know it is secret now, but I still don't have any new idea how to save Maya. I don't even know if I go away with a smile or a straight face. Asterisk, sigh, asterisk. Dention center. Dention impact. Pow! What am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time. Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Must be Maya. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? But it, that voice. Yay! Wonderful. Even without me being here, it looks like you learned to stand on your own. What? Wait, hoi. Massive. Massive Mia. <laughs> She's Maya's older sister and my mentor. She died. She got bonked on the head. She was a top-notch defense lawyer, but a certain case would force her into retirement. But whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to help, just like this. Massive medium. Her spirit comes back from the other world and borrows Maya's body for a little bit. Hmm. Phoenix, you can make that kind of face in front of your client. That's what the transparent is way easier to see. Hmm. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets, especially when it's bad. I. Mia, I don't think that's the definition of a lawyer. Mia, you can't smile at the end if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. What? This advice is stupid. In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show a client, Phoenix. But, so tell me all about it. I'm going to guess that my sister is in a lot of trouble again. I guess my sister murdered someone, probably. I told her everything about what happened. Mia closed her eyes, deep in thought, while she listened. I see. Mia, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? It's pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. And what that? Tell me, please. Believe in your convictions. And fight for the complete acquittal of your client. Look at this cool karma I got. This is Maya's Magatama, isn't it? Why do you have it? Maya gave it to me, but... I see. This is something very important to me. Take good care of it, okay? She's looking at it with a soft look in her eyes. She loves the karma. Not guilty. You think Maya's not guilty? I can be so sure. I know she is. I'll give you a hint as to why. Yes. 
Which mediums can't have dreams. Ugh. They can't. From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a dream while channeling. Yeah, she said she dreamed it. She wasn't channeling. They put a lot of emphasis, emphasis on the clothing box. Maybe somebody, like, wore her clothes. And she didn't channel at all. Maybe in him in there, disguised as her and killed. She said she dreamt that she died and been buried in the ground. But that's impossible. You heard it from her, I'm sure. When the medium channels, her own spirit disappears. This means that it's impossible for her to dream during that time. Then, what does that mean? I think it's safe to be. Bet that Maya was set up. Duh. I set up. She had to blow the lid on this case tomorrow and blow the lid off the clothing box that somebody hidden. How am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? If you're looking for clue, it's already in your hands. It is? This is a sounds, Venus. You already hold the key. I the key. Seriously? Come on, show me the key to this case. The key, huh? Okay, I'll show it to her. The key I hold. Present. Mia, have you seen this key before? The key. Ah, the key. It's literally the key to under- I'm about to suffocate. This sucks. This key. Phoenix, listen. Right now, that key is sitting in your hand. Yes, you are holding the key. It's the key. It's literally, if you try, if you think about it, it's literally the key to the case. You see the key in your hand? Key, key the case? You key the case down, Nick. However, it shouldn't be. It contradicts the facts. That fax machine in your other hand. What you talking about? I'm certain this key will be the piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. Look, because the door was locked? You already know everything you need to know. You know what the key to this case is. That's enough. But, how can I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who, who could have... I didn't know it at the time. So this day, let's go to end with a turn for the surprise. Oh. Mia, what? What's wrong? That's right, Mia, I can see the psyche locks. Is she lying? Mia must know something about real murder. But for this to be something, she would have to lie out of the lock and key. <gasps> key. <gasps> what in the world is going on? She's all tied up. A what? To be continued. I'm dying. It's time for time for stream enough enough key, enough key. Stop. Uh, I'm dying. I'm ready for I'm ready for bed. I'm ready for bed. My my voice is ready for bed. Okay, we're gonna go to sleep and now go die. Goodbye. <laughs> um, we stream more after weekend. Phoenix Wright case where Bambi died from talk too hard. Somebody had to figure out the real murderer was, I don't know, a, a squirrel or something. An evil squirrel who has a third act breakdown. Okay. We'll stream on Monday, probably. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, we'll see you next time. Matane, minashika, yasin.